Now, it is very nearly time to say goodbye and thank you, but before we go, I would like to welcome back to the stage the co-chairs of the conference, Melissa and Keith, who will join me up here now for some closing remarks. And then, importantly, also to find out what's in store in 12 months' time. Because while this conference may have flown past, preparations are already underway for 2020. So if you just bear with me for a moment, we'll get all ready to bring this conference to a close. And please, for one last time, put your hands together for our co-chairs of the 2019 Annual Conference. Well done. Look at you with the stamina, having made it through. Well done. Um, it's hard to reflect on something that feels so immediate, and we're, we haven't even finished. Um, but I've, I think um, it's worth saying that the, I think the conference has gone well. Uh, we've been very pleased to host you here. Um, I'm very aware there was a lot of University of Edinburgh content and colleagues here, and we did very well. Um, with some awards and prizes and celebrations. Um, and I think it's probably inelegant to go on about that, but I'm uh, particularly proud of all of the colleagues from Edinburgh who have contributed um, and made you all feel welcome in our home, uh, which is gorgeous. Um, and I'm glad that you've enjoyed the, the venues as well. Um, thinking back to was it a year ago that we started discussing the themes for the conference and thinking about the keynotes that we would invite and the kinds of themes and sessions that we would encourage? Um, there has been many. Um, I think we've chosen. I think we chose okay. There's been lots of presentations about data and analytics, um, many more than in previous years, and I think that that's clearly a, a coming theme for us all, um, and some gap between measurement and meaning um, that we need to continue to explore. Um, less of a gap, I think, in the connecting physically and virtually. I feel like there's been a lot of participation online, um, particularly as I, you could tell that some of the people who were physically attending the conference were also connecting online or possibly from, um, from back in the residences or out and about around the city. Um, I think that's been a success. I, I always would encourage people to come um, to, the, to Edinburgh uh, whenever possible. And for those of you who have come, um, haste ye back. Uh, you're very welcome to come again. Um, I would also, I think, recommend the experience of being a co-chair of this conference. I don't know if you're going to say anything about that as well. Um, it is an amazing experience. Um, it's, I need to say thank you to all of the old staff, um, all of the volunteers, all of you who took part in the reviewing of papers, thinking about what we we're going to do at the conference, thinking about the themes, thinking about the social program. Um, I, yeah, I would recommend it to anyone who might be thinking of being a co-chair in the future, maybe if the conference happens again somewhere next year. Um, when we leave here now, um, for those of you who are able to come across to the main library for a reception, um, we're hosting that on the, in the sixth floor of the main library. If you come to the reception of the main library and ask for where the Centre for Research Collections um, is, uh, we've got some wine and some nibbles um, if you're able to stay. Um, I think we have a special gift and thank you for Marin. Shall we do that now? We could not do this without Marin and her team, and you all know that. Thank you from me and the team and the 100 volunteers plus who make this possible. Thank you very much. Thank you. Keith. Thank you, Melissa. Um, I don't have too much to add um, to what Melissa's already said. Uh, it's been a fantastic experience working with Melissa and uh, Louise to bring this together um, under the guidance of Marin and Martin and the, uh, the ALT team, a well-oiled machine. Um, and uh, I kind of become conscious today, I'm not sure why just today, 
that um, we've come to the end of our experience, but actually the planning for next year's event will have started probably months ago. Um, so I think um, it's a real testament to the ALT team um, that they do this great conference year in, year out. I think the only thing I'll, I'll kind of add to what Melissa said is that lots of things make for a really good conference, um, but ultimately what makes for your conference experience is what happens when you walk into that classroom or seminar room, or what happens when you come in here. And that's dependent on who's speaking, and that's dependent on the willingness of um, delegates and participants to get engaged, to have discussions, um, and to make the conference happen. And I think we were really fortunate in the quality of the submissions we received, um, and actually the, the willingness of our participants, whether you're here as a delegate or a delegate who's also presenting, to get engaged, to, to, to kind of speak to each other, to have some critical dialogue, to share good practice, um, and to keep to time, which most people seem to do. Um, so um, I would just like to say thanks to all the participants and all the presenters, and um, give yourselves a round of applause, please. Well, we're just going to thank our sponsors and exhibitors again. Without their support, it wouldn't be possible. And I wanted to echo and add one more thank you, and that is to all of you who've not just brought research and practice to this conference, but also your hearts. It really resonated with me that all of our speakers that I saw at the conference mentioned the people dimension. And as a professional body, we are all about our members and put people at the heart of educational technology and learning technology. And this conference has brought it back to me very poignantly that in whatever circumstances we operate, it is really care for each other that makes such a difference. And so many of the conversations I had at this conference were about people coming up to me and said, you know, I've really learned a lot. There was a lot of knowledge sharing, but what I really took home was that it has real heart. So, as the Chief Executive of ALT, it is my privilege to serve a community that has such a big heart. And I want to say thank you to everyone on behalf of the Board of Trustees and together with my colleagues for helping us keep that heart beating for another year. So, thank you very much. As Melissa mentioned, we do hope that there will be another annual conference next year, and I can reassure you that there will be. And it is now my privilege to welcome one of the co-chairs of next year's conference, who has bravely made the journey north and is individually representing the co-chairs. So over to the not so mysterious anymore, Matt Lingard, one of the co-chairs for 2020. back. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, thank you, Marin. Um, it's really exciting to be here today. And firstly, thank you for your generosity in still being here today after three fantastic, but ultimately very tiring as well, uh, days. It's, it's great for you to have stayed right till the end, and I will return that generosity by being as brief as possible. Um, so, the conference. How exciting. So these are the fantastic people I'm going to be working with over the next year, Fazana and Roger. Um, it's a shame they couldn't be here today, um, but hopefully I can convey on my own the absolute excitement we have and the thrill of hearing from Alt that uh, we got the go-ahead to chair next year. We really, we really are excited, and the thing that's brought us together and the reason we want to do it is Alt and is the conference and our experience over many years. My first conference, um, I had hair. <laughs> so that was Sunderland 2002, and I know there are people in the room who were there. In 2002, um, I just started work um, as a learning technology support officer. It was the first job with learning technology in the title that I'd ever had, and I suddenly discovered that there were other people doing the same kind of work. And there was this huge network that I'd not been aware of in a previous job, doing learning technology. Um, and if I think back to 2002, there is absolutely no way I could ever have imagined I'd be standing here today. 
And I was reflecting on that on the way up on the train. And alt is a huge part of the reason that I'm able to be here today. Everything I've taken from the community, the conferences, the local group in London, the hashtag, and all the fabulous relationships I've built up through those last 17 years um, is why we all three wanted to chair the conference, because we think it's such an important event for sharing and learning from each other. First thing, that's the date, no surprise there. We're in September, make a note of it. So, here's a map of where all the conferences have been so far. It's not in any of those locations. So if you wanted to go to Telford, I am really sorry, but we're not going to Telford um, in 2020. Um, there are a couple of kind of big spaces on that map. I'll take Ireland out of it, and we'll just move Europe over there for now. Um, <laughs> but Northern Ireland, the east of England, the, the south, southeast of England, and Wales, all big gaps. So it's a real privilege for me, despite having spent half of my life living where most of those green dots are, actually. Um, for the last 20 years, I've been living in what I feel um, is the greatest city in the world. So I'd be welcoming you to London <laughs> for it's, it's the very first time Alt has been to London for the conference and I'm hugely excited about it. We're going to be hosted by Imperial College so we'll be in South Kensington down the road from the Science Museum, the Natural History Museum, the V&A, Hyde Park and the rest of London all around us. So it's such, I hope it's going to bring you all to London, I really do. But I'm sure the last three days is what will bring you to London because it's been a fabulous conference. Um, I'm slightly nervous about doing this, if I'm honest, but there are two things that have made me a bit more relaxed about it. The first is Marin and the team at Alt, who I know that's what makes the conference run and function. And I know they're going to be behind us, along with the trustees. But the thing, as uh, Keith was saying, that makes the conference a success is the people. So this is a plea to get involved, join the program committee, come to London, put in presentations, and I really hope that I will be seeing you in a year's time, and thank you. Welcome, Stu. So now you see that there will be a much travelling from Edinburgh to London for the next year and we're really looking forward to welcoming many of you back. So now it's just for me to left to say thank you again on behalf of all of us in every way for which you have contributed to making our 2019 annual conference. We wish you safe travels and we look forward to you being active in our community in the coming year. Thank you. Edina's work with learning technologists helps to develop skilled, data literate students who can change our world for the better. Teachers and students can develop and share coding skills with Notable, our Jupyter Notebook service. Our Digimap services deliver high quality mapping data for all stages of education. Future developments include a text and data mining service, working with satellite data and machine learning, and smart campus technology.